வணக்கம் ஜெஃப்னா கலரியின் பிரம்மாஸ்திரம் இலங்கையில் அரசியலமைப்பு ரீதியில் தமிழ் மக்களுக்கு ஒரு பிரச்சனை இருக்கு என்று கூறப்படுகின்றது அதே நேரம் புதிது புதிதாக அரசாங்கம் புதிய சட்டங்களை கொண்டு வருகின்றது தற்பொழுது ஜுக்திக்க நடவடிக்கையில் மனித உரிமை மீறல்கள் இடம்பெறுவதாக சர்வதேச மனித உரிமை அமைப்புகள் கண்டனம் தெரிவித்திருக்கின்றன உபாரண விடயங்கள் தொடர்பில் பேசிக் கொள்வதற்காக இலங்கையினுடைய நீதி அமைச்சர் விஜிதாச ராயபக்சனுடன் இணைந்திருக்கின்றோம் வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் குட் மார்னிங் இன்று காலை தையிட்டி விகாரைக்கு நீங்கள் சென்று வந்திருந்தீர்கள் தையிட்டி விகாரை தொடர்பில் மிக நீண்ட போராட்டம் ஒன்று முன்னெடுக்கப்படுகின்றது அந்த விடயத்தை நீங்கள் எவ்வாறு அணுக இருக்கின்றீர்கள் அன்ரிசோல்ட் இஷ்யூஸ் when i inquired into the matter then it was revealed uh, all the villagers are supporting that monk and in fact that the villagers have helped him to build the dagaba and uh, some other buildings and uh, in terms of the original plans or the maps that there had been 17 acres land allocated for the temple which had been a part of the temple now it has been restricted to eight acres um, the the chief incumbent is uh, not asking the lands that has that have been occupied by the villagers that he is quite satisfied with the existing extent of the land and to uh, develop the temple with the support of the villagers all the villagers are uh, supporting him and there had been a request by one of the you know villagers asking a part of it where that there had been some water tank the monk is uh, willing to give that also to that uh, neighbor the chief incumbent also informed that uh, any decision, that any work that he is going to do he will discuss with the villagers and uh, they will come to some consensus and uh, thereafter he will do whatever it, it becomes necessary அந்த அந்த காணியை வந்து இராணுவம் முழுமையாக வைத்திருந்தது வைத்திருக்கின்ற பொழுதுதான் அங்கு பண் சாலை கட்டப்படுகின்றது தற்பொழுது மக்கள் தங்களுடைய காணிக்கு அந்த விகாரை இருப்பதாக அந்த சுற்றி வளையம் இருப்பதாக கூறப்படுகின்றது அல்லவா தே சே தட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தட் தட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த டெம்பிள் லேண்ட் ஹட் பின் ஒக்யூபைட் பை அ ரெசிடென்ஸ் இன் தட் ஏரியா அண்ட் தட் மங்க் இஸ் நாட் ஆஸ்கிங் தட் போர்ஷன் ஈவன் ஈஸ் வில்லிங் டு எக்ஸ்க்ளூட் இட் and also we asked that uh, uh, monk uh, to work uh, peacefully with the villagers because all the villagers are helping him and in what i understood is through the media some politicians are making it a big issue and as you know that there is no reason for buddhists and hindus to you know have uh, disputes uh, because the old beliefs all have respect uh, mutual respect for each religion and that there are a lot of similarities ennude kelli andha idathil vigarai kattapadu kattuvadarkku urudhi irukindrada vigarai kattiyavargalum urudhi irukindrada andha kaanikku i didn't i didn't uh, explore all the things that i just make a, made a visit and i just inquired i didn't go there just to have a investigation as such bhayangaravad thadai chattam ilangayil payanpaduthapadugindra vidham sariyanada நினைவு கூறல்களுக்கு பயன்படுத்தப்படுகின்றது முக புத்தகத்தில் கருத்து பகிர்பவர்கள் மீது பயன்படுத்தப்படுகின்றது அதே போன்று ஜனநாயக போராட்டங்களை மேற்கொள்கின்றவர்கள் மீது பயன்படுத்தப்படுகின்றது ஆன்டி டெரரிசம் ஆக்ட் வாஸ் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் ஆஸ் எ டெம்பரரி ஆக்ட் வென் த வோ வாஸ் டு பி யூனோ கமெண்ட்ஸ் இன் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி நைன் நைன் அண்ட் தட் கண்டினியூட் ஃபார் அ லாங் தென் ஆஃப்டர் த கன்க்ளூஷன் ஆஃப் த வோ we formed our yahapalana government in 2015 soon thereafter we started uh, drafting a new legislation to replace the uh, prevention of terrorist act then that was completed in 29 2018 then it was presented to the parliament mm, certain parties challenged that in the supreme court with regard to the constitutionality of the bill in the meantime this uh, easter sunday attack took place of course with that one the whole system of the government was disarranged and they could not proceed further mm. when we took over this government in may 
2022. We again that started, you know, revising this terrorism law and we drafted uh, anti-terrorism bill. There are three glaring uh, issues or criticism with regard to the existing Prevention of Terrorism Act. The number one is uh, there is no definition for terrorism in the bill. Anything that you can say this is terrorism. Therefore that we have introduced a definition. Just because somebody has done something you cannot put everything under terrorism. Now therefore it is clarified. For the definition of terrorism that there is no international definition. Each country according to their own requirements that they have given their uh, interpretation. India, USA, UK, all the countries they are having. But when you compare with the definition in the laws of all those countries, that ours is a very, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, that seriousness, that is the rigorousness, that is rather mild. In that sense, if you take the UK law, any organized crime can be put into the definition of terrorism. Even if it is a murder or a rape, if it is an organized one, that is terrorism. But we have excluded that kind of uh, situations. Then clear definition is given. Number two, the issues relating to the detention orders. The detention order is issued by the Minister of Defense initially for th three months and you can continue it for a long. Now we have removed that power from the minister and given to the defense secretary, an official who is bound to act impartially on the materials provided by the inspector general of police. They are also that he can detain only for a period of one month but immediately he has to inform it to the magistrate, the Human Rights Commission. After one month, uh, if he wants to extend it, that he, he has to get the permission of the magistrate. Number three, the, the confession statement. Statement. Under the yes, under the present law, if an accused suspect has made a confession that he himself did it, Without any other independent evidence, he can be convicted. But we have completely removed that one. Even in a charge of a terrorism, you will have to go under the normal law of evidence where that you will have to prove beyond reasonable doubt. I think this, uh, there are many criticism, but important factor is uh, the, though that there are, you know, the people who are criticizing it, that is their own safety, this law is there. That is for your safety, my safety, as well as the safety of everybody. The only thing is that we must ensure these laws are not abused. Sarvadesa Nadagalil, Ella Chandar Pangalilam, and the Chattam Pan Brata Padwadile, and an Ilangail, or Mukha Facebook post to Kaha the Pan Brata Padandar, Sadar Napura Tataka Pan Brata Gandaran, Ella Vadangal Kaho, Nenevura, Memorials de Guda, the Pan Brata Raran. Is that on the Vithya Samala? There won't be any uh, the danger in this law. In fact, that as it is, the existing law is the dangerous one if somebody wants to abuse it, misuse it. But there, that's under the new law, everything is under the judicial supervision. Facebook post Facebook that of course uh, um, the bill has to ensure uh, now uh, the law has to be applied for each and everybody equally. That is the rule of law. We want to get rid of this political interference into the legal system. That is why when we enacted this 21st amendment, we wanted to make all the government institutions uh, independent. There are 10 commissions, all are independent commissions, 
one such is the police commission it is the police commission who should uh, ensure that the police are acting impartially but you also must not forget the fact that earlier the president was the uh, minister of, uh, minister of defense who was entitled to issue detention orders if we issues a order or makes a determination nobody can go and challenge in the courts but we have now opened the avenues for anybody to go to court even against the president now you know that the supreme court has given four the, the, the decisions judgment against four presidents of sri lanka four former presidents now that is how that we are gradually you know convert in this society for every citizens uh to have equal treatment irrespective of their ethnicity or language or religion there has to be one law applicable from the beggar to the president that is what that we are doing everyone equal yes law yes matta kalappu ambulatiya sumathana therar tamil makkalai vetuven kolluven ena koorina idhu vare avar kaidu seiyapadavilla avar meedu payangaravada thadai chattam illai icc rp chattam payan padathapadavilla a now i think but to my knowledge uh, that he has been charged he has been uh, uh, charged in the magistrate court i was told that there are several criminal litigation against that buddhist monk uh, no mallo this not the normal icc yes. rp no no pta of course not applicable that he has he has to post pta apply Pro- public protest pta hmm. apply yes. memorial day pta apply no memorial day that i will i will have to make it you know that's clear in day, the memorial day, day, day memorial day yeah i will tell you the memorial day that we had given the clear instructions that everybody has a right to memorize that's their uh, relatives who had died whatever the reasons that is their right only thing was that still the ltt is a prohibited organization and they that there had been some people that who had been you know uh, making some protest with the ltt uh, ltt that symbols symbols law S- uh, yes only for that uh, persons have been you know arrested not others we had particular the memorials yeah memorial that is with that uh, ltt symbol no that so i do not know i'll have to check that but okay. we had the clear we i just now only member loho yeah when they question in the parliament i also showed them that some people have come with but this medical incident the that photo just now yeah that comes under the minister of security public security i'll i'll have to check that and let you know nehal nilai padugaapu chattam online safety bill 20 varadangalukku தண்டனை கொடுக்கக்கூடிய கூட்டத்தை ஒரு சமூக வலைத்தள பதிவுக்காக கொண்டு வருகின்றதா யா ஆன்லைன் பில் வாஸ் இன்ட்ரோடியூஸ் பை தி मिनिस्ट्री ஆஃப் பப்ளிக் செக்யூரிட்டி தட் தே ஹேவ் டேக்கன் இன் டு கன்சிடரேஷன் தி லார்ஜ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் கம்ப்ளைன்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிசாஸ்டர்ஸ் தட் ஹட் பீன் ஒகர்ட் ड्यूरिंग லாஸ்ட் சோ many years for example in last year alone police has got over 5000 complaints that there are a series of cases where that's that some children uh, young children have been exploited and they have been abused and some have committed suicide because of some post and uh, there are a lot of cases where that's by you know showing disclosing various things or their private things that people are you know taking ransom now if there is any other mode where we can uh resolve this or prevent this kind of you know crimes in fact that we need not bring this uh, online bill uh, this had been discussed during last 20 years but uh, throughout that we were of the view we'll have to safeguard the uh, right of expression of every people but here it doesn't mean that we are going to restrict the right of expression of anybody else except for preventing the uh, crimes been committed by use in the online and this bill was challenged there were 47 petitions in the supreme court the supreme court has given certain directions with regard to certain provisions to change or remove uh, subject to the direction of the supreme court 
the parliament it will be taken up in the parliament uh, for approval but ana yelvaga karuthu swandrathukku edhiranad illava no country has allowed the right of expression uh, to be used to the detriment or to make a harm to anybody else your freedom you must exercise but without causing any harm to the others when we you when you have to make a law there is only one criterion one thing to protect the rights of the people when you are enacting a law on the other hand why you are enacting the law to you are enacting a law to protect the people rights of the people and therefore that this law is to protect the rights of innocent people you need not protect the criminals criminals have to be exposed you have to in- enforce the law against criminals but this is to safeguard the innocent people then he are the criminals taking the responsibility of causing to the losses or damages caused to the innocent parties they don't take therefore it's a duty of the government we, because we have not introduced or that uh, enacted a single law for the purpose of the protection of rulers each and every law i during last you know 18 months as the minister of justice i have got enacted 40 pieces of legislations within the, such a short period 40 pieces of legislation that is purely to ensure the administration of justice in this country is being operated to fairly and squarely to treat everybody as equal freedom of exhibition there is no restriction of uh, dissemination of dissemination of information mm-hmm. only thing is that you cannot uh, you cannot commit any crimes which had been defined the act you cannot you know mislead the people by you know tarnishing the character of some people and just to have a civil commotion then there will be you know a lot of people that, that through the uh, through the uh, this online this system you know how many struggles how many violence had taken place in this country But only to prevent that arasanga oh. government uh, high position இருக்கிறார்கள் வந்து பொய்யான தகவலை சொன்ன மத்திய வங்கி இந்த ஆளு கடந்த காலங்களில் பொருளாதார அவுறுத்தியன்னு சொன்னவர் ஆனால் அவர்களுக்கும் அந்த சட்டம் பாயுமா நோ தி தே ஆர் கிவிங் அ ராங் யூ நோ தட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் விச் இஸ் விச் அமௌண்ட்ஸ் டு அட்ஸ் அட் ஒஃபென்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் லோ டெஃபினெட்லி தட் லோ ஹேஸ் டு டேக் பிளேஸ் ஈவன் தட் அண்ட் ஜென்ரல் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் யூ நோ வென் வென் யூ சே கவர்மெண்ட் that i am in the government today uh, but i may be in the opposition no i may not be in the politics tomorrow for whatever the government comes in the power for the protection of the people of the whole country that's they will have to exercise some powers only up to that extent we are making law that pole jukti ka nadavadike munnadukapadu porish manida urimegal anga meera paduvadaga 30 sarvadesa manida urimai amaippukal kutram jaatukindathu polis or நீதிமன்ற அனுமதியை பெறாமல் கைது செய்தல் சோதனை செய்தல் நடுவீதியில் கைது செய்தல் நடுவீதியில் சோதனை செய்தல் அதனை வீடியோக்களாக எடுத்து வெளியீடு செய்தல் என்பன ஒரு தனி மனித சுதந்திரத்தை பாதிக்காதா யூ மைட் பி கன்சீடிங் தட் திஸ் நோர்தன் ப்ரோவின்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஆஃப் த வேர்ஸ்ட் எஃபெக்டட் ப்ரோவின்ஸ் லைக் வெஸ்டர்ன் ப்ரோவின்ஸ் அண்ட் நோர்தன் ப்ரோவின்ஸ் ஆல்சோ தட் ஈக்குவலி எஃபெக்டட் த ஹோல் கண்ட்ரி இஸ் லைக் தட் ஆல் திஸ் யங்ஸ்டர்ஸ் especially school children then now they have been getting addicted to this drug because these drugs we have never you know the people have never experienced this type of dangerous drugs like you know methamphetamine that is colais if a child takes once one time then he is addicted and therefore in fact that we are too late in uh, last year we uh, amended most of the laws and we included lot of new substances which are very dangerous now at that time you know our in our prison normally that population was 15000 16000 when we made that law it went up to 30000 uh, therefore that that's the if you ask from the people that's 99% people of this country asking us to somehow to eradicate this problem
to get rid of this issue. Then, this one of the methods that we have, we can adopt is this an operation like uh, justice. But there may be, I don't deny that there may be some, you know, isolated incidents where sometimes the police officers may have exceeded their uh, powers. That is why that we, through the uh, police commission, uh, had given instructions to the IGP uh, that they should follow all the norms and rules in, you know, to ensure that the people's rights are not uh, violated. In addition to that, of course, that if the police has done something completely wrong, uh, the, the rights of the people remain, that it doesn't, the police, police has not been given any special privilege. But here, of course, that all the people are supporting. The people want this, you know, menace to be completely eradicated from this country. We know that we can't do it <laughs> completely, but to a great extent that we'll have to somehow control that. Otherwise, that country will have no future. All these youngsters will get addicted, you know, some islands like, you know, Hawaii. Uh, what has happened? Arasangam Payangravada Vipundu Serpana Mudya. Satta Ulung Nadi Pradan Serpana Mudya. Satta Ulung is low and order Sariya Kapin Beta Pradanda. We have to have because now if you look at the younger generation, even you saw that what happened in Kandakadu a few days ago. Mm -hmm. And that's you know very pathetic as a nation that we, we should be uh, we, we should really repent over that uh, these these kind of things. These are the things we should have, you know, um, resolved long years ago. But at least at this moment, they will have to do it at some cost. And the Punarwal, Kandakada Punarwal, Lieter, Unmiaha Punarwal Valika Padanda. Other kind of medical vision, Sariya Kanaka Padagra. Yes. I went and saw myself personally. Then at least that they have been allocated 12 hours. That not the military people are involved, that they are only given their, you know, administration and protection. All professionals, like psychologists, that's um, the mental caretakers, then those who are, you know, the advising, training like that, sport trainers, then um, that yoga, sure. yoga meditation, that's full-time program for six months, that is doing quite well. But the problem is, there was an incident earlier that, there, that the reason was there were over 50 people, persons, who had come for the second time. And then they are trying to dominate the others. Then they are having their own problem. This time what happened was, this justice operation, there had been over 100 people who had been brought and put in the in, inside. And they have started the fight with the others. Now, I have appointed a committee chaired by a former Supreme Court judge soon after I get the report that we will have to go for a complete uh, um, uh, the revision of this, the whole process. But I urudigal Kani Pomitilamal Paladin Darat. Our Halak and the Kani Udimi Walangu Torabil, we said a Mahanikarela or the Seth at the Munoga. You can remember in July 2022, uh, I came to Jaffna and thereafter in December, uh, we had uh, several uh, mobile services in Jaffna, Kilinochi, Batiklo, Trincomalee. And there were over 12,000 uh, people who had returned from uh, refugee camps in Tamil Nadu. They did not have an identity card. They didn't have their birth certificate. They didn't have their lands, or their deeds, deeds. or plans. So we came with uh, uh, the 14 ministries, representatives or officers of 14 ministries. We attended to all. Then, just to resolve the land matters in the northern province, I appointed a committee that was more than one and, one and a half years. That was chaired by my secretary, secretary to the Minister of Justice, Mrs. Vasanta Perra. And all the other secretaries were in that committee. And they attended. And most of the issues are resolved. In fact, that there may be some more. But for the time being, 
all the matters that had been, you know, that referred to that committee at that time, everything was resolved. Kilinochil, Mullai Tivil, Palarak, land permit. Forty years. Uh, that is not only in the, yeah, you know, the northern province. If you go to that Mondragala, Hambantota, Andradapur, Polonnaru, everywhere is the same. That is why recently President announced that we are going ahead with this uh, new project uh, to give the uh, deeds for all the people who have been in occupation. It is not confined to a, you can't say we will give it only in the north. But in the whole country, that you know, it is, it has to be done. It is too much of, it is, it is delayed too much. Uh, the people are there more than 30 years. We know so many people, 30 years, 40 years, even 50 years. They don't have scrap of paper just to show. Family generation. Yeah, that's right. Now we'll have to attend to that. That is the, the whole country. We are addressing it. In fact, that in the cabinet we decided to appoint a land commission. Land commission mainly for the purpose of, you know, that's giving lands to the landless people or the people who have been there. And there was a, that was not the real issue. The real issue was uh, the people were occupying and cultivating some lands. In 2015-14, that there had been a gazette issued by a, uh, by a forest, forest, forest ministry. And what they have done is that all the areas where the people have cultivated also included in that and they were asked to go. Now we have stated that one, we have decided after getting the report, we are going to adapt the map of Sri Lanka in 1985. Then all these lands will be excluded for the people. Kaanamal aga patta varulakku tiru yenna. Kaanamal aga poha villai. Ranuvathinal kaanamal aga patta aga Yes, that is, uh, in, uh, there had been many attempts by continuously the, those government were in power to enact a law to safeguard the people with disabilities. Then uh, that is, you know, that the subject comes under the social uh, minister of uh, social affairs, Service. social services. Then there had been many delays and they couldn't finalize it due to various reasons. Then we took that responsibility. I was instrumental in, 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 with a committee that uh, we drafted the law. Again, and then we went, we sent it for their observation. Apparently, you know, that there had been some politicians also involved, some parliamentary committee involved. They have done a lot of distortion of the law. Bavaniya court order on drill. Ranwandan Kanamal Aga Padaka, Porupukura Vandavanda, Bavania High Court order. And then this is case. That is true. Now that's, that is at the final stage. In fact, that draft is at the Attorney General now. Once we get the clearance, we will take that to the Parliament. This is where I came. Pala Ane Kulukale Arasangam Naravi Rikandra. And the Ane Kulukal, Pala Arike Hale Mumbai Rikandra. And on the Arike Lirikandra Vadangale, they mean Nadaimurai Padamal. No, there is no any uh, duplicity in that one. If a person has become disabled, whether it is it has happened at the birth or at a later time or as a result of a fighting in the war, it makes no difference that he is the person known as a person or disabled. No discrimination, no categorization. In law. There is no law. No, maybe some uh, administrative mechanism, but there was no statute. President Commission. Yeah, those, all those are, you know. Report Reports they know. All those are administrative acts. There was no law for it. Administratively, they have attended to those matters without enacting a statutory law through the parliament. Now we are going, going to enact the law, a statute in the parliament. Even the ONUR, the Office of Unity and Reconciliation, that was there since uh, maybe 1990s. Started by Mrs. Bandar no, Naga, the president. But only 9th of this month, that we pass it as a law. Now it's a statute of this country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.
இவ்வளவு நேரம் இந்த நேர்காணலை பார்த்து கொண்டிருந்த உங்களுக்கும் நன்றி வணக்கம்